your colors. I'm in love with all your nights. Hey there and welcome back to my channel. Today is our 2022 back to school get organized with me. I'm gonna be sharing all the tips that have helped me throughout the years. We have four kids all in elementary school and I'll tell you these tips and tricks have absolutely helped me and made back to school extra special for the kids. If you're new here, my name is Lauren Nicholson. I love to do all things homemaking, so cooking, cleaning, decorating, and definitely taking care of the kids. So if you could just pause this video right now and hit the subscribe button, Button, you can join the fun too and if you're returning it is so great to see you okay let's jump into today's video but you've kept me far away from my focus so the first tip I would like to share with you guys is laying out the kids' clothes for the entire week on Sunday night. A lot of times, if your kids are a little older, they can actually do this themselves. And if they're younger, this is a great hack for you to be able to lay out their clothes all the week before. So in the morning, I usually get up at 5 a.m. and I always get the kids' lunches done and everything. And I let the kids sleep until about 6.45, 7 o'clock. And then I will come up and help them get ready. It's not always just for them to be able to come in here and grab their clothes, but it's also a great thing for me to just go in here, whether it's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, whichever, grab their clothes and put them out for them, especially my younger ones. My older ones usually know what to do and I don't have to do anything like this for them, especially my fourth and sixth grader, but my first grader and my third grader definitely need a little extra prodding in the morning. So here is a great tip if you wanna lay all their clothes out, whether your kids wear uniforms like mine do or your kids wear free dress every single day which oh my gosh they must love that it's a great hack to be able to allow them to pick their clothes out on Sunday as part of your Sunday routine to get ready for the new week and add them into one of these shoe bins I will link everything I'm using down below so don't worry about having to search around for these this is the best little shoe rack and I love it and it's nice and clean I also like that it's dark so it's not gonna get dirty because I also like to tuck the kids shoes in here as well but this is my first hack and really does help organize the week and keep the mornings running smooth. My heart, I cannot lie. Stars made of stars. The next tip I have is all about making that back to school shopping trip super simple and organized. As you guys know, we have four kids and we get a nice long list from each teacher of all the supplies the kids will each need. Since I need to buy multiples of things, I like to use a simple spreadsheet. I've had this forever and I change it out each year and I will just add the quantity of the items the kids need. It will tally up in the left hand side and I shop from that list. Once I get home, I like to lay everything out and then go list by list and make sure everything is checked off so teachers don't have to go through it and then get back to me saying, you missed this, you don't have a binder, you forgot pencils or whatever else the teachers are requesting. That way the first day back to school is super smooth and organized neat. But once I'm done, I just staple or clip on their list so the teachers can see everything that is inside, which child it belongs to, and they can spend time after the kids leave to actually put this stuff away. I don't put it in their backpacks simply because I don't want the teachers to have to just throw everything out they can actually break down each bag on a schedule that works best for them. I know the first couple of days back to school are pretty hectic, so this is a great way to make it easy for the teachers and the kids. Our next hack is very similar to the morning routine. We gotta get dressed, we gotta brush our teeth and do our hair. So I'm gonna be sharing how I like to organize our bathroom. I like to have a drawer with all of the things for us to brush our teeth in the morning and at night. That way, when I ask the kids to go upstairs and brush their teeth, everybody isn't looking in a million different places. We all use this bathroom to brush our teeth. It's the easiest one for us all to be in, even though the other kids have their own bathroom. I like to do it all in one place, plus I'm not not running around. I also like to keep all of their sunscreen. So in the morning I apply sunscreen to the kids' faces and it's so great to have it all right in one place where I can just grab it and I won't forget halfway out the front door that the kids forgot to put on their sunscreen. The other thing I like to do is keep all of the hair care items in one place. I have two daughters and two sons and I hate scrambling around in the morning if we want to do pigtails or little braids or a pony and the boys have to have their hair slicked back. I like to have it all in one place 
place. So I like to keep a drawer very simple with just the items I need. And then I'd like to keep a little stockpile. That way, if I am running crazy in the morning and realize we're out of something, I can just grab it right here. In despair, air is getting heavier, but I do my best to breathe. Dreams of the next thing I like to do is to always set up a place for the kids' backpacks and shoes. It's the two, they're the two things that we are always scrambling for every single morning. So a couple years ago, I created a little area where we keep all the kids' backpacks and shoes. It used to be down below in the basement, but I found it was really hard to manage the kids going down there. There's also a playroom down there. So I would end up sending them down there to add their backpacks and shoes and they'd start playing. And when I was done with their homework, and usually that happens around dinner time so sometimes if the children haven't finished their homework I bring them into the kitchen island and we do homework while I'm cooking and I always find that the kids won't put their homework back in their backpack because it's down in the basement so this year I've decided to move that up here we're just going to hang the backpacks up that way we can put the homework in and then add the kids shoes down the staircase when they get home from school they put their backpack here throw their shoes here, and it's all nice and organized. I can see it, I can check it, and make sure the kids get their homework in there for the next day. The next hack that I have, which is actually one of my favorites because my kids have been in school for many years, as you know, and I always find that I compile a huge stack of their arts, crafts, all of their great homework, their projects, and I always feel like it never has a designated place and it just gets out of control by the end of the school year. So what I have found is by using these really large bags, I can actually put each child's name on it and their school year, and I can actually slide all of their artwork and their great projects throughout the year right in here in a basket and if it gets a little out of control I can just throw it into a bin which I'll show you in a minute that way if it's at the end of the week I can put everything in there because that's typically when the teachers send their projects home and then I can file it over the weekend I really have found that if you can do this like if you have every single year you have your child's artwork then you can save it and keep it in a safe place for years to come that they can enjoy when they're older but this hack has really saved on being able to keep all of their very special artwork and projects in a very safe place and actually chronologically throughout the years keep it here so I can give it to them when they're older. But this has been a great hack for me and if you are looking for a safe place to keep all this I highly recommend checking out these bags. I will link them down below. Another great tip is to actually keep the box where you have all these bags right near their backpack station. That way on Friday or whenever your kid's teacher sends home all of their wonderful work, you can just add it right to that box and then file it when you guys have a little bit more time. But I have found this to be a very simple way to keep it all organized throughout the year. So where do you go when nothing's like home? The next tip that I have that has worked for me for years and you guys have seen on my channel many times is creating a homework basket. So this is basically a caddy where I keep everything the kids are going to need to do their homework or any school projects. I like to add pencils and pens and colored pencils and all the things that are basically on their teachers list which I did a video on and will link down below already as well as some of my other back to school tip videos but I basically buy a duplicate of everything the teachers require for the classroom and I put it inside the basket here at the house. My biggest tip is every day, if you have time for this, before the kids get picked up, I like to actually set out all of the kids' homework things I know they're gonna need. I bring out this basket, which I'll show you in a minute where I keep it. It's very simple. I just pull it out, put it on the table, and it literally has everything they need from highlighters, pencils, erasers, paper, craft paper, glue, you name it, it's in that basket. And then I also will put out a couple healthy snacks for the kids to eat. That way, when the kids get home and I let them know that it's time for them to start doing their homework, the bin is on the table and I've already added snacks that I think are good for them instead of them running into the pantry and grabbing other things I would prefer that they weren't eating before dinner. This is a great way to organize homework time in the household 
and also keep all the items you're going to need so you're not running around trying to get the things the kids need every time they need to do a project. This hack has always helped me keep things nice and smooth and also keep the kids focused on homework time when they need to get all their projects done. Try to figure out who I am Not sure what I'm doing here and the days don't work out the way I thought they would And before you there was no one who understood Never found somewhere I fit in I typically like to keep the homework bin somewhere out of reach for the kids so that when they are doing fun crafts and stuff on the weekend, they're not pulling from this area, but rather somewhere else. And I also like to keep all of their work and their projects and books in separate bags right next to it. When my kids have books that they're reading for homework and their teachers send the monthly newsletter or weekly newsletter or spelling tests, I always keep all of those inside their own unique bag. That way it helps me stay organized and I'm not scrambling looking for their spelling test when they should be practicing each night. This is just a nice way to keep things organized and easy for us as moms. The next thing I like to do is a weekly meal plan and bulk shopping for the week. If you guys are new to my channel, this is gonna be new for you, but most of you already know that I do a lot of weekly meal planning. Basically what I do, and I will add this free principle down below, is I will actually do the breakfast, lunch, and dinner for Monday through Friday. That way I can actually compile what my grocery list will be, and then I actually prep everything and put it in the refrigerator. I will link down below a video um, that I did on pretty much how I do that. It makes it very simple. And also the kids don't come down asking what's for breakfast because they will know the night before what we're going to be doing. And it just makes the morning very seamless, but I break every meal down. And then also at 5 a.m. when I'm getting up to do lunches, um, I don't have to wonder what to do. Another hack is to go ahead and go on Pinterest and look up school lunch ideas. That way, if you're tired and need a little bit more of motivation for what to make the kids during the week, those lists are really great and easy to print and download. The other thing I like to do is bento box style lunches for my kids. So I will stockpile all of the silicone cups and bento boxes in one place. That way in the morning, all I have to do is grab this, grab my menu for the day and get started. But this is basically how it all looks. And honestly, this has been a lifesaver for me. I don't have to wonder what I'm doing each morning and each week. And especially when I go to the refrigerator, I know that the food is already there prepped and ready to go. If you're looking for some fun breakfast, lunch motivation for the kids and also dinner, definitely check me out on Instagram at Mrs. Lauren Nicholson. I try to post at least one of those every single day. So definitely check that out if you're looking for that. The next tip, and notably one of the most important, is setting up your family calendar and your routines. I have a couple different ways that have worked for me over the years, but the first is creating lists that are readily available for the kids that they're actually responsible for. For my older son, I have this one, which has goals on it, so those are the rewards for the things he gets done. For my fourth grader, I have a weekly school list that she uses. She likes this format better, and then we also have some things she can defer to the next week. And then for my Littles, I just do weekly to do. So these are really small micro tasks that they can do so they can really start to learn how to manage their own time. I also, on the other side of these plastic bins, which I will also link these down below. I love these plastic folders. I talk about them all the time on this channel. But on the other side, I have all the kids' daily morning routines and evening routines, which consists of making your bed, putting your dirty clothes in the laundry basket, brushing your teeth, reading your book, all of those things. I'll share that with you in a minute. And then the other most important thing I like to do is to take the kids schedules that their teachers give them, which some of my kids do it monthly, some of my kids' teachers do it weekly, and I will actually add it to their weekly schedule. I will then add in their sports and other things. That way they know what they need to be responsible for. If my son has swimming or football, he knows what things he needs for that day and he can manage it himself. Here's what their morning and night routines look like. And then when they flip it over, they can see what their homework is for the week. I can also see what's coming up if they have a test so I can help them work towards that as well. And then the other major important thing to do is to always have your family calendar 
calendar in one place. I used to have this on a whiteboard, but I found that it just didn't stay consistent. And my husband and I always use a shared calendar on our iPhones. So I actually ended up getting the Echo and I've been just using the Echo as our kind of main hub for what needs to go on. Every morning, I just say, hey Alexa, what's on the schedule or calendar for today? The other thing I also do is have the Echo Drops in the kids' rooms. So when it's dinner time or when it's time to do homework, the Echo Drop will remind them it's time to get ready for bed, it's time for dinner, and you also need to come downstairs and get started for homework. It's an easy way for them to keep everybody on task and also keep it all in one place. Sometimes I so the last tip and probably the most important is to try to find ways to make back to school extra special for the kids. I love it, these bracelets. I've given them to my kids every single year and it's just the sweetest, sweetest little way to stay with your kids throughout the day. I found these on Etsy and I'll link this down below, but there are a bunch on Etsy you can find. I just happen to pick this one. You can pick which jewel they have and which color. And the other thing is doing your first day and last day of school photos and documenting all the sweet ways that your kids are going to grow throughout the year. I also love the idea of a nice basket for the teachers that consists of maybe a Starbucks gift card and some other sweet things, some candies, and just things to get them through the year and just welcome them into your kid's life. Another great thing you can do is just the joy of taking your kids back to school shopping with you to pick out a couple pieces that are meaningful to them and just spending that extra quality time together. I also love doing the night before back to school baskets that have really fun things in them, especially reading some great books about the first day of kinder, first day of first grade, second grade, just to get your kids excited and share some of the fun parts of back to school that I remember as a kid. I also love the idea of the book, The Kissing Hand. It's one of my favorites. I read it to the kids every year on the night before school and give their palms big kisses the next morning. If you haven't checked that out, I will link it down below. And then doing a school binder, you can do this every single year and just compile all the fun ways your kids have grown. I love a little sidewalk chalk. We do this as well. Just writing some encouraging messages for the kids on the sidewalk on the way to the car. That way, just gets them excited and it just gives them some uplifting messages on their first day, which they might have the jitter. So that always kind of helps. And then I also really love to put sweet loving notes inside the kids lunch boxes. Just another way as the kids are getting older, especially with my little ones, they still miss us. And summer, we're so spoiled to have spent so much time together. Um, I like to remind them that I'm always there, even though I may not physically be there. And then I always take a Sharpie with me on back to school night and I add a little secret heart somewhere on their name tag and let them know anytime they miss me, all they have to do is touch that heart and I'll be right there. Also, another great tip is don't forget to give the teacher a nice special gift. They spent a lot of love and time and energy pouring into our children. And it's just so nice to give them something special, even if it's maybe a bath bomb kit or a Starbucks gift card again, or something sweet, a coffee cup, find out the things that your teachers really like and give them something special to say thank you so much for investing in our children. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and it gave you just a little bit of inspiration for back to school. I have a whole lot more coming up on my channel and I would love it if you would subscribe and join me for fall, Thanksgiving, Halloween, Christmas, all the holidays and especially some more back to school motivation. I'll see you guys in the next video really soon. Bye.